Item. SCP-669. Object Class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-669 is to be kept on Site-19. Any personnel to be granted access to SCP-669 must have completed a training session led by an individual with two-stroke 669 clearance. Following Incident 669-1, SCP-669 is to be encased in a Faraday cage vessel consisting of a grounded copper shell, and slotted alumina inserts holding the item in place. SCP-669 is to be removed from containing vessel only in designated testing area, so as not to interfere with Site-19 electronics. Description. SCP-669 is a sphere of radius 2.6 cm, resembling a large bearing. When inactive, SCP-669 weighs approximately 560 grams. The surface of SCP-669 contains numerous sites of corrosion and pitting, as well as remains of a cadmium blue paint. The surface temperature of SCP-669 appears to vary between 32.1 and 33.8 degrees Celsius. This appears independent of the temperature and thermal conductivity of its surroundings. The composition of SCP-669 is currently unknown. The surface of SCP-669 indicates its composition to be mild carbon steel. However, its density, as well as inertia testing data suggests a non-uniform internal structure. SCP-669 activates when placed within 54 cm of any object larger than itself, and set into motion. While active, SCP-669 appears to lack gravitational mass. Instead it describes an orbit around the object at one of a set of distances up to 54 cm from the object's surface. One collisions with an object larger than itself cause SCP-669 to relocate into orbit around the colliding object. If SCP-669 is exposed to a suitable light source of sufficient brightness, see Experiment Log 669. It proceeds to move into the next further orbit. If no such orbit exists, SCP-669 will either deactivate, or proceed to fly at a tangent to its original orbit until colliding with another suitable object. Pushing SCP-669 into an orbit closer to an object it orbits requires a force of approximately 50 n and is accompanied by a brief photomission of seemingly random frequency from SCP-669 surface. Recovery Log SCP-669 was recovered from the depository of Istanbul Modern Art Museum on 4 April, 195 having been previously exposed in the annual current Eastern European Sculpture Retrospective, as a part of an exhibit titled Rutherfordian Atom. A didactic perspective point to SCP-669 was not listed in that exhibition's catalogue and neither its purported artist, 1GP, nor Lomonosov, Makarenko Institute for Scientific and Political Education appear to figure in any official records.